welcome back students to one more session of your uh, properties of benzene uh, in the previous video i taught you what is the boiling point of benzene what is the physical state that is physical nature that is it's a liquid then we will also see uh, it is a non polar molecule hence it is insoluble in water now in today's video we'll be learning the benzene addition reactions and gradually i'll be taking into substitution as we have seen benzene very like very two or only two addition reactions it undergoes beyond that it undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions what is the reason because of the dual delocalization of pi electrons that is what we have seen now in today's video we'll be seeing the benzene addition reactions as i said only two of them the first one is <coughs> let us divide the page into two equal halves so benzene basically because of the presence of pi bonds alternate pi bonds suppose if i try to add hydrogen to this hydrogenation reaction now the same benzene i'm going to take and allow it to undergo chlorination reaction that is addition of chlorine so whenever you're adding hydrogen remember you require a reducing agent like a metal that is nickel i'm going to heat it to 180 degrees the same chlorination whenever you're performing chlorination this has to occur in the presence of sunlight then only the chlorine will get added <coughs> in the exam suppose there is no light given please write no reaction so light is important here so how many pi bonds are there one two three so three hydrogens i'll be adding how many pi bonds three so i'll be adding three chlorines so what happens when three hydrogens are added this bond is broken this bond and these hydrogen three to the six hydrogen this is broken see here one two three four five six all the six are broken and means three pi bonds are broken and these hydrogens add to this what do i get i get a compound like this because they're broken already these hydrogens got added to this so what is this this is c6h6 now to this h6 i'm adding six more hydrogen so this becomes c6h12 so this is a compound what is the name of this compound this compound is benzene and the name of this compound is cyclohexane <coughs> cyclohexane so here also suppose if i take same benzene there are three pi bonds so i'm adding three chlorines so what will happen this in the presence of light it breaks open it means the pi bonds are broken how does it add so everywhere there is carbon 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 and hydrogen everywhere now to this the hydrogen which it is adding see, see here opens up and how many chlorine six so three to the six one chlorine adds here hydrogen that bond broke breaks up one more chlorine hydrogen one more chlorine hydrogen one more chlorine again uh, the same thing hydrogen one more chlorine hydrogen one more chlorine now what is the formula for this this is c6h6 now let us count how many carbons c6 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many hydrogens six hydrogens 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many chlorines 1 2 3 4 5 6 six chlorines so this is called bhc what is the full form for bhc bhc stands for benzene hexa there should be a small letter hexa chloride or it is also called as gemaxine gemaxine we call it as gemaxine no students where are we using we are using gemaxine in, in the form of insecticide to kill insects we use gemaxine isn't it and small ants also right so gamma this is also called as six six triple six is also gemaxine this is also called as lindane Lindin. So all these are names for gamaxin. So this occurs in the presence of sunlight. So hydrogenation gives me benzene to cyclohexane and chlorination gives me benzene to gamaxin. So nine isomeric forms are available for this. So beyond this benzene does not undergo any other addition reactions. Now let's come back and see the next type of reaction of benzene that is oxidation reactions. Right. So whenever you are speaking about oxidation, you require strong oxidizing agents. Remember that. So strong oxidizing agents, as we have seen in the earlier video also, what are they? Oxidizing agents include alkaline KMnO4. Let us write that. So that means in the presence of an alkali. <coughs> so oxidizing agents, what are we using? I am using 
alkaline KMnO4 potassium permanganate. I am using one more that is acidic K2Cr2O7. That means it is nothing but K2Cr2O7 in the presence of an acid. This is what it means. You can also use uh, means uh, perform oxidation using hydrogen peroxide. But whenever you're using this, you're using a catalyst that is vanadium pentoxide. You know, it speeds up the reactions V2O5 that is vanadium pentoxide. Right, in the presence of these, benzene undergoes oxidation reactions. So, oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen, isn't it? So, I'm using oxidation oxidizing reagents. So, this is the catalyst which I'm using. So, when you're adding oxygen, I'll write the product down because there's no space. When I'm adding oxygen to this, the bond breaks and it forms this is the product formed this breaks up oxygen adds here the carbon is already there right and oxygen and finally forms malic anhydride this is called malic anhydride you will also further perform oxidation reaction of benzene using hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to take benzene. I'm going to add hydrogen peroxide. So I said this is going to add oxygen to this. So the pi bond, whatever is there, breaks up. It opens up. It means it adds OH. So the conversion of benzene to phenol, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Now, when I have to come back to the next type of reaction, that is ozonolysis. Ozonolysis also comes into oxidation reaction only. So, what is ozonolysis? We have already seen the mechanism. Ozonolysis is addition of ozone. This ozone and further what we do, once we add ozone, we are going to allow it to undergo reduction. Correct? So, in the presence of zinc. So, let's see how it goes. First of all, I am going to take benzene, right, hope it is clear students. To this benzene, I am going to add ozone, correct, ozone is O3. So how many hydrogen, so 3 hydrogens, so I am going to get 3 moles of ozone. How does this look like, it looks like, this is your thing, correct, now see. The bonds are broken. Three, this is three, 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 nine oxygens I need to add. So this is your benzene ring. Just see here. I am going to add one oxygen. Three. See here. Ozone is three. Here. O and here. Done. Next one. Oxygen. 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 How many are over? Three plus three. Six are over. Three more are there. Here at this point. Oxygen. 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 Correct. Done. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Three, three is a 9 oxygens I've added. What is the name of this compound? This is called benzene triuzonide. It's called benzene triuzonide. Uzonide. Now, it further cleaves. Where does it leave? To see. You can hold your pen like this and exactly it cleaves here. After that, where does this cleave? It's going to cleave, it, st it starts cleaving in this direction and this there is an oxygen here beyond this. Now again, this is over, isn't it? Now immediately start here. This is going to cleave exactly here. One cleavage is below this oxygen. One more cleavage is below this oxygen. One more cleavage is below this oxygen. It breaks up. And finally, what are we going to do? I said we are going to introduce zinc prince of water. Right? So, it break up and form a compound as a CHO. How many? 1, 2, 3. 3 moles of this. Now, what is this compound? This is called glyoxyl. Glyoxyl. Remember this. Okay. So, just now one, once again we will see. In ozonolysis reaction, what is the step? Ozonolysis reaction, what is the step? If first, we have taken benzene. After benzene, it has formed, what have we been doing? I'm going to add ozone. It's going to form a compound called benzene triuzonide. 
to this benzene triosinate, I'm going to add water and some zinc. I'm going to get glyoxyl. How many moles? Three moles of glyoxyl. So this is your ozonolysis reaction fluids. Now let us come back and see the next type of reduction, very important and famous reduction that is bridge reduction. Thank you for watching.